Are you ready to go to the dark dungeon of secret and unholy delights? I'm not. But let's do it anyway. 1977 Maraschino Cherry. <laughs> Radley Belzer. Have you heard of him? He's awesome. A tour. Filmmaker, distributor, made a bunch of exploitation pictures, softcore pictures, and then, of course, why he's here today, dabbled in hardcore. We've done Barber Broadcast. He's probably best known for that or the opening of Misty Beethoven. Oddly enough, those two and this one, Maraschino, all 1977. All beautiful 35 millimeter, great looking pictures. This is a weird movie. Before I even say one single thing, this movie makes no sense. I talked about it last night. I just cut Maraschino Cherry. Our version makes no sense. I almost scrapped this. It makes no sense. I don't know what's going on. The The film is bonkers. So he's so different and weird and odd and bizarre. Offbeat, daring, and original. I've read so many articles on him and I swear to God, every single one said offbeat daring original he's a weirdo if you saw this picture maybe you could tell from ours but if you saw it in its entirety you can 100 percent tell that he influenced the zucker brothers and then in another decade influenced the farley brothers and i don't know if ours is even worth it i thought about scrapping it and now we're doing it i spent way too much time on it and it's sunday's release so here you go a weird movie a weird movie about sisters from a farm in Popper Spring. Maraschino and Penny. Those are the two sisters. She's coming to town to visit. And they're like business women. They're like consultants. Kind of, I think. Maybe. You tell me. Okay, back to Radley. He made Camille 2000, Carmen Baby, The Alley Cats, Cat and the Canary, the Licorice Quartet. There is so much, he, this dude is so cool. There's pictures of him like at, at some of his openings with Andy Warhol. Like we're talking hipster. Before hipsters or even hipsters, this guy was super cool. Side note, if you wanna know more about him, check out the Rialto Report. They uh, have a, a pod cart on him. I think it's 1971. Yeah, so the Rialto Report did an awesome piece on him. I highly suggest it. And you know what's funny is uh, the homepage to their pod cart is Maraschino Cherry. I bet you anything, I just put it on the screen right now. Let's uh, watch the movie. We have so many people to talk about. We're gonna do the cast when we come back at the end of the film. <laughs> Maraschino Cherry. No, I'm Miss sorry. Penny Maraschino Cherry's sister. Oh, that's different. Let me see if she's up. Just tell her I'm in New York and I can't wait to see her. D'accordo. Hi, how are you? Okay. Now let me take a look at this. These cuffs clean? Sure. Yeah, I guess they're pretty good. Oh, yes, the bullfighter is very popular these days. That's 20 through 50. You want that on the account? No, Mara said to pay cash. Hello, <laughs> won't be coming in today. Oh, my God! Take master charge? Surely. Oh, uh, it's over $25. I'll have to call this in. Oh, 3 o'clock. We don't take women before four unless you're dead or the wife of a police officer. What? If you have a child in the daycare center, I'll see what I can do. Oh, I'm Maraschino Cherry's sister. Oh, so we've just both before. Oh. <laughs> well, please, come in. Where is Maraschino? She's checking her slave down in the dark dungeon of secret and unholy delights. 
The dark dungeon of secret and unholy delights. Everybody has one these days just to stay in business. Okay, great. Bye-bye. a beautiful place. Good to have. <laughs> How are you? Let me look at you. Turn around. <laughs> Fantastic. You look great. How are things in Poplar Springs? Well, not too great. Since the folks sold the farm, things haven't been so great at all. Well, with the money getting shorter and folks having nothing to do, well, they're just wasting away. Too bad. Oh, these are for Mama. Oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh, I don't know what they would have done without their generous daughter. Well, that's why they sent me here. Well, they thought they would just forget about buying another farm and go into another line of work. Something different. Do you have an American Legion post in your town? No. Well, that's a help. You know, maybe I'll go up and set the operation up myself. Probably the most important thing is the introduction. Like the bidding in a bridge game, or the first offer in a business deal. For example, I have a good customer who likes his introductions both unexpected and original. best ladies for the assignment. Hello. Oh. Have a Hi. seat. Thank you. Now, what can we do for you? 
Well, actually, I was just admiring these. Maybe I can come back later. I'm free tomorrow. We're never free, but we're reasonable. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, well, maybe if I could just talk to someone. That is, if she wouldn't mind. You see, actually, I... You're not terribly comfortable, are you? Well, actually, I have a problem communicating with women. Trying to feel a rapport with them. Trying to understand them. I suggest that you begin to start thinking of yourself as a more dominant male figure. Do you know what the King of Spain said during the Inquisition? Man is judged by the pleasures he keeps. Do you believe in that? Do you know what Frank Sinatra said in the 1960s? I believe in anything that gets you through the night. <laughs> When I told Penny the story of my crazy bullfighter, strictly Bloomingdale's, here's a case in point, and this will be of particular interest to you. There's this housewife, fairly well off. When her husband is away and her child is off at school, she gets all dressed up and goes out all by herself. I first spotted her when she came to an intimate piano bar I often go to. She had something, and I found myself wishing I knew her a little better. Sister, this is goodbye. I'll write to you. I promise. I'm sure you'll do fine. I'm really gonna miss you. I know you'll be able to handle everything. Well, we'll see each other soon. Sure. I figure it should take me about two months to get things rolling in Poplar Springs. Don't come down. The cab's waiting. Mm -hmm. What airline are you going to? Shit, at this hour, it'll take forever. Let's drive to Poplar Springs. Where the hell is that? I think you go left at St. Louis. I don't know. We'll find it. We can stop on the way. Keep your eyes on the road. <laughs> What did you think? Did you like it?
Did it make sense? No. Should we have done it? Possibly not. I don't know. Our film was 12 minutes long. Theirs was 83. We got this X down to a G. But anyways, so many of his people, everyone in this film you have seen in Barbara Broadcast and in the opening of Misty Beethoven, and oddly enough, Farmer's Daughter, not the one from X, the one that we've done, Farmer's Daughter from the 70s. Everyone in this movie was in that movie. Zebedee Colt made the Farmer's Daughter. I was conv I was almost, cons I thought that that might have been a pseudonym. Like it was the same dude. It's not. They just must have ran in the same circles. Spalding Gray. Spalding Gray has a cameo in this movie where he walks through a scene. In the hardcore version, he has like a six second cameo. In our version, he has like a four second cameo. Spalding Gray was in The Farmer's Daughter. Gloria Leonard is the lead. She's Maraschino. We've seen her a lot. She was the mom in American Taboo style. Or no, Taboo American style. We've done all four of those. Henry Pritchard miniseries. And you betcha, she was in Farmer's Daughter. Also, opening of Misty Beethoven. Her sister Penny was played by Jenny Baxter. You may recognize her as the electrocuted woman in blood sucking freaks a lot of we got some we got new york independent underground cinema in this new york underground piece of cinema jenny's also in the opening of misty beethoven everyone here it's a family affair crossover everywhere most importantly annette haven and constance money they're both in Maraschino Cherry. Of course, Annette Haven is the lead in Broadway Broadcast Barbara. And Constance Money is the lead in the opening of Misty Beethoven. And they are both on our channel, tons. The Taste of Money by Richard Mailer. Annette Haven was in China Girl, which was, I thought, on our channel and I Googled it or I inter a YouTube searched it. No, we did China Girl. But apparently it's one of like the still 30 that got pulled down and I have done intros for him to release them back up. But she's also been in De Palma films, Body Double. She was in 10, the Blake Edwards film. Leslie Beauvais. Leslie Beauvais is the assistant in this here picture. The lead of Champagne for Breakfast. Also in Eruption, probably the strangest, strangest film I've ever seen. John Holmes picture where like 30% of it is shot with an extreme macro lens, extreme close-up, extreme close-ups. I don't know if you've ever seen Eruption. We haven't done it on here. Actually, we should look into that. That's something from my past, like private teacher, like a movie I saw so many times as a child. And I hate, I, I don't, in my career, I don't think I've ever shot an extreme close-up, probably because of Eruption, but that's besides the point. Susan McBain has a strange, strange cameo. She's the girl just standing there holding a whip because this is off ball weird. What did we say? What did the other people say? Offbeat, daring, and original. The offbeat and daring original whip, weirdo, comedy. She's from Farmer's Daughter and Barbara Broadcast. I love her. She had a rough life. She's still alive. I'd like to, I'll put you in a movie. I should do a call to action. We're actually casting a feature right now. I, I want, all I want from me doing this, I make nothing off of this and this takes so much of my time. In five years, we've got one donation. So I do this for peanuts. My goal is I want to cast someone in our next feature from the adult film industry. If you're watching right now, don't you want like your la the one one of the last pictures to be in of being a non-adult weirdo cult film? And you got there from this stupid Oh, I can't. From this, I can't say that on this. I'm used to my vlog where I can cuss like a sailor. Um and you got there from some guy who cleaned up your past work. CJ Long, Eric Edwards are both in this, but you didn't see them. They're both cut out. 
CJ's in Barber Broadcast. <laughs> Everyone's in something. Everyone's in Barber Broadcast or Farmer's Daughter or Opening of Misty Beethoven or Eruption. All right, is that it? Wait, did I say that Radley Betzger is offbeat, daring, and original? Offbeat, daring, and original. Offbeat, daring, and original. I think I did. Two soft swears in the last 10 seconds of the movie. Right at the end. I'm not bumping it up from a G to a PG because of that. If I would have bumped it up to a PG because of that, then I could have left a bunch of like really odd, weird, non G rated stuff in it. And I didn't, they were cut. And then I realized, oh crap, there's two little off screen car driving away soft swears. We're keeping it at G. All right. I'll see you next Sunday. Unless I have time to do a re-release this week from the vault. If I do, I'll do China Girl, because it's pretty cool. Uh, I directed a music video. What a time. What a time. I'm going to promote myself. I'm going to stick it at the end of the video with, uh, what did I say I was going to stick it? Oh, Farmer's Daughter. Right next to Farmer's Daughter is going to be the brand new video I directed. I shot it on VHS. Currently on VHS. Don't be tricked. It's not the 80s. It's current. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't subscribe. Don't like, don't share. Just watch.